Turbine engine blade dovetail and rotor disc slot contact faces are prone to premature failure from fretting-induced fatigue cracking. The following case study illustrates how introducing residual compressive stresses into the contact surface mitigates fretting-induced fatigue. The blade disc contact surfaces of turbine engines are prone to fretting because the joint is designed to move under load to absorb vibration. Anti-fretting coatings eventually wear away, exposing the fretted surface to fatigue cracking initiated at the edges of contact. Mode 2 shear cracks are formed at the narrow edge of contact region on both the blade dovetail and disc post surfaces. These are typically very shallow cracks oriented at approximately 45 degrees to the surface. Once they reach a critical size, these shear cracks will transition to mode 1 fatigue cracks that can then propagate through the blade, potentially causing liberation and catastrophic engine failure. The conventional means of avoiding fretting-induced fatigue cracking requires extensive inspection, recoating of contact surfaces, or replacement. For example, the first stage compressor blades of the CFM 567 engine series can be prone to fretting induced microcracking in the dovetail edge of contact region, requiring frequent stringent blade inspection. If fretting damage was found, original maintenance directives required replacement of the entire ship set. In addition to inspection and blade replacement costs, substantial amounts of downtime impact operating costs and time on wing. At Lambda, our primary approach to component enhancement and fatigue crack mitigation is through the introduction of designed or engineered residual compression. Engineered compression cancels tensile stresses in critical locations without altering either the original material or design. Compression can be introduced through manufacturing processes such as shot peening, laser shock peening, deep rolling, and low plasticity burnishing. The depth, magnitude, and distribution of the residual compression are designed specifically for each component and application to produce optimal performance. For fretting fatigue applications, this starts with calculating the minimum residual stress required to mitigate fretting-induced fatigue cracks. We do this using our proprietary fatigue design diagram. Knowing the mean and alternating service stresses, we can determine the amount of compression needed to provide damage tolerance sufficient to avoid failure for the component design life. This is indicated by the triangular region marked safe in the diagram. In the absence of tensile stresses, the fretting-induced fatigue cracks cannot propagate and failure is mitigated. In the CFM56 blade example, it was determined that introducing a minimum of negative 40 KSI or negative 276 MPA would restore nominal fatigue strength to the damaged surface. Once the engineered residual stress field is designed, the blades are processed. We generally use low plasticity burnishing to introduce designed compression. LPB has several benefits over other processes, such as minimal cold work and repeatable deep compression. This makes the compressive layer more stable at elevated temperatures and is more effective in mitigating surface damage. LPB also leaves a smooth mirror-like surface finish on all processed parts, which facilitates inspections and improves blade efficiency. By putting the edge of contact region in compression to a depth much deeper than the shallow shear cracks formed by fretting, fatigue cracks cannot propagate and the chance of failure is eliminated. These pictures show examples of the typical setup and finished product of an LPB processed blade dovetail. Component level fatigue testing was conducted in our laboratory on shot peened and LPB treated blades to compare the ability of both processes to mitigate fretting surface contact fatigue. The high cycle fatigue results show that the applied residual compression effectively eliminated the chance of cracking from fretting induced shear cracks. The fatigue life benefit of LPB was compared to conventional shot peening using 20 thousandths inch or one half millimeter deep EDM notches to simulate fatigue cracks grown to the depth of NGT detection from fretting damage. LBB treated blades outperformed shot peen blades by over 20 times at all stress levels. More specifically, at high operating stresses, LBB treated blades showed nearly 100 times life improvement over the shot peen condition. When applied to a blade with existing fretting fatigue damage, LBB provides a fatigue life 10 times that of a new blade, estimated to yield a cost savings of approximately 85% over 10 years. The FAA issued a supplemental type certificate to Delta Airlines after DER review of Lambda's design and proof of performance. Upon implementation of LPB processing, the airline, in consultation with the OEM, changed the inspection and replacement requirements, leading to a significant improvement in total ownership costs for the airlines. To learn how engineered residual compression can reduce costs and extend the life of your blades, contact Lambda Technologies at 513-561-561. 0883 or visit our website at www.lambdatex.com.